Alright guys, welcome back to another video and this is definitely going to be the coolest tutorial yet because I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a web crawler. Some people may call them spiders but they're basically programs that you can give it any URL you want and it can go to that web page and it can either, it can actually do a couple things. It can either just gather information from that web page or it could find all the links and go um, to those web pages, pretty much crawl the web the most popular web crawler is probably Google's which goes to a bunch of pages gathers information for a search engine so of course we're not going to be building one that big but this one is actually going to be pretty cool and also the reason I had this page up is because I'm not sure what websites actually allow you to crawl them I'm pretty sure like um, eBay or Craigslist it's against their terms of service like I don't know that for sure but I'm like they probably don't want you doing it so I figured just to test this out just so I wouldn't get in trouble I'm just doing it on one of my own web pages so if you go to buckysroom.org slash trade slash index dot php this is a section on my website where I let users like trade items so this is the home page right here and it's actually kind of important to see the structure of it now if you go to search this is the page that we're going to be crawling so of course this lists all the items in all the categories and if you notice a couple things we want to take note of it has a couple pages that the items are on so they only list 30 items per page and we're going to be using this parameter right here the page number and we're going to be giving our spider that information so it isn't just stuck on one page the whole time so what our web crawler is going to do is go page by page and it can either just gather the links or maybe you can just gather the titles whatever we want it to do but anyways that is how my website is laid out so let's go ahead and open PyCharm and start coding this bad boy now there are a couple modules that we need to import first the first is requests and that's because remember this is whenever you're connecting to the internet in Python this is well it's my favorite way to there's actually a couple different ways but this is to request information from a web page and another thing that we're gonna need is my favorite module of all time so go to settings and oops, this is when I was changing the font size for the video alright where am I get out of that so go to project interpreter and that's where you can see all your modules and the package or module that we want to import is called beautiful soup 4 so again if you don't have this added which you probably don't just add it like before I showed you in the um, I don't know like a couple tutorials ago and look for beautiful soup 4 and what this is is it's a module that lets you pretty much go to a website and, and sort through data so right now that request it's kind of limited because it can connect to a web page but it's kind of dumb so what beautiful soup 4 allows you to do is pretty much look at all the page source and you can say things like okay get all the links from this page or get all the um, you know headers or titles or anything like that so you guys are gonna be seeing how cool it is later on but anyways whenever you have it installed what you can say is from BS4 import beautiful soup and that's going to import all the tools that we need and again if you're ever looking at documentation to use this online it's either you can type in beautiful soup BS4 um, beautiful soup 4 and the web page is going to pop up so uh, you know if you ever want more information then just giving you guys a heads up so now we imported all the crap we need and the first thing I actually want to do is go back to your main search so by default we're just on this page right now and this is the page that we're gonna start from the main search page so make sure you're on this right here not on any not like on page 3 or anything like that so the first thing I want to do is I want to make the core spider just the main spider that can sift through and we'll just do something really simple at first before we get too advanced so since this is a spider that's going to be limited to the trading section of my website I just want to name it trade spider so after this 
what I want to do is I actually want to give it a parameter of max pages because whenever we're testing things out say we're just testing it for the first time to make sure it can gather links or something well I don't want it to crawl all these pages what if there's a hundred pages well if it if something isn't working in our program it's gonna take a while to you know go through and find the bugs so whenever I have this parameter max pages by default we can just set it equal to one or two at first and then once everything's working we'll just set it equal to like 50 or however many pages we want to crawl so by default I'm gonna set page equal to one so this is gonna change every time it loops through a page so basically it's gonna do this crawl this page and then in our spider we're gonna set that variable equal to page two and that way it knows to go to page two right there because of course this is a program it can't actually like click buttons on your web page so that's why we need to uh, throw in everything in parameters so once we have that what we need to do is we need to make a while loop so we're gonna say while the page number is less than max pages so again we're gonna go through the pages one by one and it's gonna stop whenever we get to max pages so if we pass in 10 right here it's gonna say okay I'm pretty much gonna um, crawl 10 pages simple enough so the first thing I want to do is actually the first thing that we need to do is we need to build the basic URL because it's saying okay I am a web crawler but uh, you kinda need to give me a web page to crawl well the web page is this if you copy that URL again we're on page two but we'll fix that right now again of course the easier thing to do is just to throw all of this in a variable so I'm gonna name it URL and this is the URL that is gonna crawl so set this equal to this right here now if we just left this as is then every single time it would just crawl page number two and that's obviously not what we want so what we want to do is actually delete this last number right here and the page that we wanted to crawl is whatever page this variable is equal to so get this base URL and then on the end of it tack on str page so again if this variable changes every time the URL the first time is going to be page one then page two then page three and it's going to go all the way until it gets the however many pages we told it to crawl so that's how you can have your URL change every single time so now we have a URL what do we need to do now well what we need to do is actually request the data from that website or connect to that website through Python so the results that we get back I'm gonna be storing in a variable called source code and set this equal to request dot get URL so again each time this loops it's gonna to connect to that web page and store the results in a variable car called source code so basically what we have now is actually I'll view page source it'll be easier basically what we have now is all of this crap stored in that variable however whenever you connect to a website it's a little bit more complex than just getting the page source it also comes with other stuff like headers I don't know if I don't even know if you guys know what headers are but they're the extra stuff that like your um well it's like extra crap that it, um, the user doesn't need to know about it's probably, it's probably the easiest example but all we really want is that um, source code so what I can do now is I can put plain underscore text or you can name your variable anything you want and if you put 